Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I thought that because it's been a while I will do like a bit of an update so it's going to be quite a short video so it's not going to be as long as my last one. Um, I thought I'd just like update you on things that's happening because in basically a month a lot has happened. So the plants have grown really really quickly. The flower stalks are really tall now so I've got a couple that are going to open any day now and I think that's going to be really nice to look at. But before I show you what's been going on in the greenhouse I thought I would mention um, some fertilising trials that I've been doing. So I think I've mentioned it in my other videos saying that I was going to do it, um, which I have done. I, I did it over a three month trial so I started in January and then um, obviously it finished recently and this is the first time that I've actually like mentioned it properly in videos and I was going to show you the progress and updates of that. Um, so first of all, obviously I'll just talk to you about the fertilising stuff that I've been doing. So I did a maxi crop trial, so this is just some um, original plant feed, um, which is seaweed based. So obviously carnivorous plants, um, obviously for you, the people that keep them, obviously know they don't need fertilising. Obviously one of the first things you're told is obviously the plants don't need fertilising, which they don't. Um, so they're perfectly fine without it, but a lot of people I've seen recently have been doing like trials, so um, they use this product called maxi, so it's... Um, not really readily really available in the United Kingdom so that's why I've gone for like an alternative so they use like a seaweed based fertilizer and it basically is meant to help you the plants grow so I thought I'd try it out for myself to see the difference between obviously not fertilizing them and fertilizing them so I used the original maxi just so there if obviously anybody wants to try or looks at these videos and decides they want to try it for themselves so I did it on this pot of 10 seedlings um, they're not looking the greatest as they did, they look really nice after the trial, but then I did drop them. You can see a couple of them are broken, but they're all coming back really fine. New growth since being in the greenhouse, because they are, have been moved outside now. Um, they did do the whole trial inside under my grow light as well. Um, so they were really green, they have slight change in colour. The light in my greenhouse is extremely strong. Um, so I'm going to have to get some like shading or netting or something in here because all the plants turn red during the summer, especially the younger ones because of the heat intensity and how much light I get in here. Um, but this side is lower down and has more shade but I can't put everything on this side so if I get some shading I think it'll be alright on that side. So I started this trial on the 10th of January which says on the pot there and I basically did a foliar feed so if I just run through this. so. I diluted some max crop, so it does say on the back of the packaging, um, obviously how much to use per gallon or um, of water. Um, I didn't go by that because I was only going to do it in this small bottle because I'm not doing it for all of mine. I just wanted to try it on that little pot. So this is basically just I had a little syringe and it's just one drop of max crop. So yeah, I brought a whole bottle just for basically one drop of it. Um, and then diluted it down with rainwater, so it's rainwater and one, literally just one drop of that max crop in here. And then every week, or it was every Friday, I sprayed it on the plants. So I will put some pictures in this video because when they first started, they were very small. So they were the same size as all the ones I got in the greenhouse, um, which if you've seen in my previous videos, were only about this big. Um, so I definitely say it's worked. At the same time, obviously the ones in my greenhouse haven't been growing because they've been outside all winter. So I am going to do some trials in here as well. So I've already done this one. So this one's darker colour, as you can see, which is three drops of maxi crop with rainwater. So this one's a lot stronger, which is the one I was going to try next in the greenhouse. So as the weather's warmed up, I thought it would be nice to do in here. But going back to the trial that I actually did, um, I did it every Friday and it was a foliar misting spray. So I made sure to mist all of them over the top and obviously then just leave it. At the first couple, I would say the first month, they grew really quickly. So they were growing, I would say a good centimeter a week. So as you can see, some of the traps on these are really tall. So this one especially is very tall. It adds some, obviously because like I said, they've dropped, got some obviously taller ones here as well. Um, so I think they resulted in their seven centimeters, the height of these now. Um, or most of them, some of them haven't grown as much resulted on the trial. But I'll show you some pictures of what I've seen I got out of it because after the second month, I think they reached their like top height. So they kind of grew to a point of about seven centimeters overall, maybe six centimeters. 
and then instead of growing any taller they just decided to grow more pictures so i don't know if that was a result of obviously maybe the feeding or if it's just because they got to a point of that's how much they wanted and they were just going to continue growing so i didn't obviously i've, I've just played this whole thing by ear so it's purely for experiment based i didn't you know at first i actually did expect some of them to lose some um but i didn't lose any the trial went really well they did grow quite well as well uh, which obviously you can see there which i'll put some pictures in, i'll put some pictures like over saying like one month two month three month um based on what i've got there um but yeah they produce pictures i would say like a lot of people only do it for a few weeks just to get them started so the whole point of the trials that people usually do is just to help them grow quicker so they want more results so instead of letting them grow their normal growth rate they do it obviously to enhance how much they grow where i was doing it purely to see how big i can actually get them before you know maybe they start dying off but i've decided to stop it after three months because they weren't really growing as much as they were before so i kind of got to a point where i thought they had enough um so yeah that is obviously the experiment so it's not the most interesting thing in the world but i do want to do more um and i might try other plants as well so obviously i've only done it on my saracenias so maybe i will try it on maybe some drosera species maybe some compens as well because i've got tons of them i could just experiment with um but yeah that's basically the purpose of that experiment so if you've got obviously any questions regarding that then let me know and i'm just going to give you a quick rundown of everything that's in the greenhouse so i'll turn the camera around and just show you how much everything's grown okay so now time for the updates so as you can see already everything is looking a lot more fuller and it's grown a lot so this is honestly one of my favorites at the moment is the um Drosa binata, so it's a um, variety, the dictomata. So it produces this really nice staghorn type leaves. This one's really nice, big and established. So as you can see, the dew on there is like in massive amounts. It's got so much nice dew on there. And obviously there's one at the back. Cephalite is still kind of looking the same. Um, obviously the best, I think, at the moment, and the thing I've been most excited about, which I expressed in my previous videos, is obviously the Saracenia flowers. So... As you, if you've watched my previous video, they were very small flowers and they've all grown now, especially this one. This one will probably open any day soon. And I can't wait to do that because I want to do some pollination on them. It'll be my first time doing pollinating of Saracenia. And obviously, I want to make some crosses out of the ones that I've got. Um, as you can see, the uh, actual pictures themselves have grown a lot. So, this one is Adrian Slax Maxima and one of my favourite Saracenias I've got. Um, as you can see the size already of it is massive and it's nearly touching the top of the roof so I will be moving on to the other side to allow it to grow further. Obviously I've put the black piece of paper behind it just so you can see because it's hard to see at the moment. But as you can see all the pictures are growing really nicely. So this one here is the Wilkinson's White Knight Cross Oreophylla which I got from the Trap Kid. If you watched my previous video then you'll know that I obviously received some plants from a Instagram follower of mine. and. I've got some really nice traps here. So, also got some nice spatulata with some flowers. My filiformis as well. They've all grown really tall, really nice. Got some more banata. This one here is just the common variety of banata. My purpurea. I've got some smaller ones here as well. They've all got nice traps on them now. Pictures. All my Venus flytrap cultivars are starting to get flower stalks, which is really nice. Um, so I want to do some more propagation videos um, a lot this year. So I'll be doing some flower stalk propagation videos um, and also some collecting seed videos as well, so how to pollinate the Venus flytrap flowers. So with the cultivars, you can only obviously get the traits, well, you can still get the traits from seed, but you can only class them as that cultivar from vegetative propagation. So I will be doing some vegetative propagation with them and getting seeds from just my typicals which are in this bunny bog over here so obviously if you want to know more about them then obviously I'll update that soon hopefully when I see things grow a lot bigger so it will take a while before I do those videos because obviously the traps and the stalks and all that and quite small because they have only just come out of dormancy but that's something that I'm looking forward to doing so this is that uh, bog planter that I did like the sundew cottage garden so all the sundews are coming back really nicely. So they're getting all their dew. Obviously got some pygmy sundews at the front. 
which is looking really nice. I made another bog planter the other day. So this one's got pygmy sundews in it, which is my last remaining um, adult Scorpio is from like a couple of years ago. So this one was quite basic, but I painted the pot and obviously created this little scene here. Obviously all my capensis as well, they're all growing really nicely. And my pygmy sun juice, which obviously I showed in my previous videos. Which is looking really nice at the moment. And then obviously here are the seracene that I just spoke about at the beginning of this video. As you can see, some of them are a bit broken, but they're colouring up nicely again because of the sun in here. When they were obviously inside, they were completely green. So they weren't looking the greatest. And obviously if you've noticed the Saracenia over here, wondering why it's on such a wonk. This is my newest Saracenia, um, Saracenia Joanna. And um, when I received it, the it's been growing under the rhizome, so the whole thing had been tilted up the other way. So I'm trying to get it to grow upright rather than under the soil, so I've done that on purpose. But that's basically everything I've got on this side of the greenhouse. The other side of the greenhouse is still a mess, which I said I'd do some updates, but there isn't really much anything going on with that side, as exciting. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. So, you know, it's just quite a short video, a few updates. But I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will be updating more with some more propagation videos. So thank you very much for watching.